to begin our day with you. We're going to start by taking our deep breaths to get our mind focused and to relax. And then we're going to fill our bucket with the amazing things that we feel about ourselves. All right, boys, let's start. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. Smell those flowers. Blow out those candles. It's going to be a great day. Now we're going to fill our bucket. Let's start over here. What are you going to say today? I am blessed. I am blessed. I am loyal. I am loyal. I am smart. I am smart. I am a leader. I am a leader. I am blessed. I am blessed. Awesome. We love you guys. Y'all have an amazing day. Boys and girls, I just received a very special, important red alert. That's right. Red alert, red alert, red alert. I've heard, oh my goodness, um, this can't be true. This can't be true. There are students at Forest Hill Elementary School that title tell all day. I I'm in shock. Are you in shock? I'm in shock all day long, tattletaling. So guess what? I have formed a group and I want you to be a part of it called the Students Working Against Tattletaling. Yes, students working against tattletaling. We're gonna rid Forest Hill Elementary School of tattletaling because when things happen, we're gonna learn this week what to do about it instead of tattletale, right? Because tattletales don't have a lot of friends. And your teachers get so busy sometimes with the little deals you bring to them that sometimes big deals get overlooked. So we're gonna help you this way. We're gonna teach you some strategies how to handle the little deals that happen during the school day because you're powerful, you're amazing, you're smart, you got this. We say no to tattletaling at Forest Hill Elementary School where students working against tattletaling. All right. In life, there are big deals. Oh, it's a big deal. And there are little deals. You need to know what they are in order to know what to do when they happen. Are you ready? You have your listening ears on? I know you do. Lots and lots of little deals happen every single day look at all of them. Little deals can happen at home. Little deals happen to children. Little deals happen to teenagers. They happen to grown-ups. Little deals happen a lot and they happen anywhere and to everyone. But big deals are different. See that big deal right there? Big deals don't happen very often. And most days, even at school, they don't happen at all. Yay! These are the kind of things that are big deals, okay? Someone hurts your body on purpose. They hit, kick, punch, push, bite, scratch, or pull hair. That's a big deal, right? Somebody's doing something dangerous. That's a big deal. She's running with scissors. If you're worried or afraid something's gonna happen to yourself or someone else, that's a big deal. When a big deal happens, it's an emergency and you need to get help from a grown-up like right away. Big deals, green helps you remember to go report. When it's a big deal, see green, green is go. So when there's a big deal that happens at school or at home, you need to go report it. Big deals are important, big deals are emergencies and grown-ups take care of big deals. However, there are little deals. Things like bothering and hurt feelings. Here's some examples. When someone whispers loudly in your ear, they sit on your spot. They say something to you that's not kind. They won't share, they won't take turns. They make a mean face or cut in front of you in line. They bump into you by accident. They say, I'm telling. Or when someone's not following directions, there's so many little deals that happen at school. Little deals are considered little because little deals don't hurt your body. Little deals are not dangerous and little deals do not make you worried or afraid. 
When a little deal happens, you have an important job. So little deals are in red because red is your clue to help you remember what to do. Choose a strategy. When a little deal happens, you need to choose what to do next. How are you gonna handle it yourself? You don't need a grown up when it's a little deal. When everyone tries to give their little deals to grown ups, they can feel very confused because there's so many. And that's not even the worst part. If grown ups have to take care of all the little things that happen, they would be so busy they might not even notice when a big deal happens. That means that someone may have to wait to get help with a big deal or maybe not even get help at all. And that would be horrible. Everyone takes care of their own little deals so the grown ups are available to help with the big important deals. So how can you take care of your little deals? Well, let's look at some strategies. Show respect by using a gentle voice. Words that sound gentle, not grouchy, like, could you please stop tapping your pencil? That noise is bothering me. But not like this. Stop banging your pencil on the desk, you're driving me crazy. Now that's not the way we handle little deals, boys and girls. When it is a little deal and your gentle voice doesn't fix it, should you go to a grown up? No, no. You're in charge of your little deals. Grown ups in charge of big deals at school. So if one strategy doesn't work, choose another one. You might choose to ignore. Ignore the pencil tapping. These are three steps to ignoring, okay? Don't look, look away or turn your back if you can. Don't listen, pretend that your ears can't hear, pretend that your eyes can't see, and don't talk. Say no words and make no sound. So this is how you ignore. You don't look, you don't listen, and you don't talk about it. You just ignore it. Sometimes ignoring works, sometimes it doesn't work. When ignoring doesn't fix the problem, should you go to a grown up? No. No, 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 you're in charge of your little deals. So try another strategy because grown-ups need to be available for the big deals. Here's another strategy. You can move your body away from the person who's bothering you or hurting your feelings. Sometimes you can scooch away if you're sitting on the floor. Sometimes you can go stand somewhere else. Sometimes you can walk away, move your body away from the person. Okay, students working against title telling, you were just given three strategies to handle your little deals today so that grown ups can be available for the big deals that might happen in life. Your three strategies the first thing is use a gentle voice when a little deal happens. You might say, Would you please scoot over a little bit? Would you please stop doing that? And if a gentle voice doesn't work, then you can ignore what's going on. Pretend you don't see it, pretend you don't hear it, and don't say anything. That's what ignoring is. No seeing, no hearing, You gotta, and no talking. You've got a great imagination. You can ignore things. Just pretend you're on a beautiful beach somewhere. La da da, la da Hawaii. You're just enjoying the sun, it's all good. It's all good. Now, if ignoring doesn't work, should you go to a grown-up then? No. Remember our third thing you can do. Move your body away. Move your body away. If you can move, scoot away. It's called scooch, scooch away on the carpet. Move your body. Move your body. <laughs> move and move somewhere to another place in line. But you can handle little deals today. So your teacher is not overwhelmed with all the title telling going on today. Okay, so tomorrow we're gonna learn some more strategies. We're gonna work on this all week. So by the end of the week, all throughout the school year, you'll know when to tell a grown up and when to handle it on your own because you got some choices on what you can do to help your teacher with all these little deals. Okay, SWAT team, go be amazing today. We love you. Fill a bucket, fill a bucket, every day, every day. I don't fill a bucket, I don't fill a bucket, you can too, you can too. Fill a bucket, fill a bucket, every day, every day. I don't fill a bucket, I don't fill a bucket. Okay.
What's going on, Lion? What's going on, Leo? Today I found out one of my friends isn't going to be in school anymore with us. And my heart hurts so bad. It's normal. It's okay to hurt. It's okay to miss him. It's okay to wish with all your heart that he was still here. It's okay to feel the way you feel. You might feel sad for a while. You might even smile at the memories though. And that's okay too. The times that you spent with him but you'll have those in your heart forever. If you get too sad, I want you to make sure you talk. Talk to the school council, okay? Or talk to another grown-up that you trust. Okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry a lot. It's okay not to cry at all. It's okay to be quiet. Sorry, so sorry you lost a friend. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry.